Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. If you are new, my name's Amanda and I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Um, so today I've got a stack of vintage envelopes. Now you may well be thinking, well that's nothing new Amanda really, we've seen that before. But mine has a little bit of spice. So I'm going to show you what I've created and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So first of all we've got three different envelopes going from large, medium, small. So just you want graduated sizes. Have a look in your stash. Um, if you don't have any in your stash, make some. They're really not difficult to make. Um, all you need to do really is fold a piece of paper over, have a flap at the top and glue the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. So mine have been tea dyed. They're all different kinds of envelopes. So they've got different colouring to them. These started as like vanilla, so they've gone darker. And I like the contrast there. <clears throat> so... Um, let me show you what these do. So these would look fantastic in a journal just as they are. I think it would make a lovely journal cover. Just slip it in a pocket, whatever. However, um, if we just undo the twine here, and I've just used Blue Baker's twine for a little bit of colour contrast. You can use anything. I did have some ripped up sheet on my desk, which looks fab, but it just wasn't quite long enough to do this crossover that I wanted. So this um, unties very easily. And how you would have this in your journal is you would attach the back here so this is the very back one and the flap is open so if you were making a journal here's one that I've got to post out today you would glue your this flap you could glue it to the page okay and here's where the magic happens so let me move that example because I have constructed these so that the top one opens I might just need to zoom out a right little bit. Let's hope it doesn't... Um, how do I zoom out? I've forgotten how to zoom out on my... For some reason... I, there we go. I temporarily completely forgot how to use my own camera then. So this top one flaps open. Okay, magic. And then you've got the one below. And that's been decorated in the opposite way because that then flips open that way. Okay, and then the whole thing flips open that way. And because each one flips, it means you've got storage there. Okay, then this one flips that way, you've got storage there. And then that one flips that way, you've got storage there. And the reason I've got them flipping in different, <laughs> flipping in different directions um, is so that you can access this part easily. Okay, um, so... And also you can um, see where how they're joined. It's almost like an invisible join. Okay, I think it's a fabulous idea. Um, it's like a little, it's like secret pockets, and then obviously attach that one to your book, uh, to your journal page, and then you've got one there. Or like I say, have it as a uh, an insert. You know, put it in a pocket, or you could attach that and then add a paper clip. All right, but I like. How once that's attached there, you can very nicely tie it with the baker's twine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the construction. I'm not going to decorate it all for you because, you know, this is something that I might do, you know, of an evening. It might take me an hour or so to decorate. But all I've done really is I, first of all, I inked all the way around the edges. Then I've used a napkin and decoupaged the writing to make it look like, you know, um, cursive written addresses. All right. And I've used that in several places okay just cut the napkin up and decoupaged it on and there as well and some on the back side and then in between here I've added little bits and bobs from my collection of fussy cut ephemera um, and you know I've collected old stamps and then here I've done some stamping and some washi tape uh, all of these stamps are Tim Holtz from what's it called from this collection called Field Notes. Okay, there are ones with even more postage themed things on, but I got this one because to me it's more versatile. You've got more uh, scope. It's not just about postal. 
Um, so that's what I've done. I always save stamps from anything that anybody sends. In fact, that looks like it needs gluing on a bit better. Um, and I've stamped in various colours. We've got red, brown, black. Um, and then with the Baker's Twine, we've got blue. We've got a blue stamp there, which is a fussy cut from an Artemis kit. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to make this. So like I said, you need three envelopes of graduated sizing, just so that they layer on top of each other nicely. If they were all the same size, it would be a bit um, same-ish. And then decide which way you want your flips, okay? Just because that will depend where your flaps go, alright? So I have the larger one with the flap to my right hand side so then it goes to the outer edge of a journal page that's where I prefer my flaps my, when I do flips I prefer them to go out of the journal rather than in you know it just because it, it's an extension of the page then so this has been um, sprayed I think with uh, some kind of ink um, same there and that one's tea dyed so what you need to do first of all is deconstruct your envelopes, which sounds bizarre, but there's a method in my madness. So very carefully, and you know, if you tea dye your envelopes, you might be able to do this whilst they're wet. And just do it very carefully. If you get your thumb in there and hold that bit as you are removing it, it shouldn't rip. Now if it does rip, it doesn't really matter because it just adds to the vintage grunge, vintage look of it. So long as you can rip, bear with me one second. Apologies. Right, so yeah, so you're deconstructing your envelopes. The, the bottom one, you only need to do the bottom one and the middle one. You don't need to do the smallest. All right, so we're gonna deconstruct this one as well. Again, if you hold on to there, uh, whilst you've got your hand inside and gently pulling, it should maintain, you know, its shape, etc. And you shouldn't um, get, I mean, it should be fine. Okay. Right, so this one doesn't need it. And then what you're going to do is... On the middle one and the smallest one, you need to cut the flaps down. Okay, so let me get my large scissors. So you're going to cut about half of it, half of it away to reduce bulk. It's, you're not going to need it. All right. Just remember that that is your flap, not that. <laughs> so then, just fold them back together like they like they were for a moment whilst you plan how you're going to have it laying. So, like I say, this would go to the right hand side of a journal page, so that's fine that bit. Now I want to attach the middle one to the large one, and I'm going to do it in a, an invisible way so you can't see that join. All right, but I want to have it so that it opens that way. So I'm going to lay it on to on top, and I'm I'm putting it at an angle so that it's interesting. Um, if you just put them straight on top of each other, that's fine. But it's a bit more interesting if you have them, at, you know, at a bit of an angle so they look like they've been chucked on a table and left there, maybe, or you know, like to, to look more like a stack. So I want it there. Now what I need to do is just hold that flap and just double check that when I open it, none of these corners are going to be protruding the outside of that in that part. Otherwise it won't open, that it'll get stuck. Okay, I know what I'm on about because I've tried it. <laughs> so then what you want to do is keep it where it is. If you need to hold it in place with washi tape or something, that's fine. Grab a pencil and um, use the edge of your envelope there and draw a line, the full length of the envelope. All right, so that's that one. Like I say, you can hold them together with washer if you feel it's necessary. Then get your smaller one and decide where that's going to lie. Now, I want to be able to access that pocket, so that means I want my flap on the right. The middle one has the flap on the left, okay? So there we go. Now again, I'd like it to lay like that, 
with them corners overlapping there but if you do that then when you open it these corners will be in the way okay and you can see that I discovered that because that's why I've ripped that corner off there because it protruded and it caught so then it didn't open I mean that still that looks cool it's it's gungy and vintagey but you know if you can avoid it do so so just make sure that this top corner is not overlapping the envelope below it all right so that one will probably be more sort of in the middle yeah we can have it down there it can overlap here it just can't overlap here where it's going to open yeah so arrange it where you think you want it i'm happy with it around there so now i'm going to draw a line to the exact length of the envelope okay and then where you've got these lines you're going to cut them with <coughs> with a blade so open it right up get it on a protective surface now I've got this um, quite dangerous looking <laughs> um, sharp sort of Stanley blade knife but it's super and you do need a sharp blade because if your blade's blunt it will pucker it will pucker the paper okay and then you just want to cut along the line that you've made and it, it shouldn't take much force because it's on the paper in case that's that one don't forget to open up your envelopes before you do it and if you get anything like this where it's kind of worn and it's a bit raggedy looking it doesn't matter because it will add to the interest and the vintage look don't matter all right so we start in there my hand eye coordination is not very good so I'm using a metal ruler to make sure that if I slip I did it really just don't cut my fingers off just be careful I mean if you're confident you know getting your scissors in there and doing it then do that but I'm really not okay and then very carefully let me just put my blade away before I do myself a mischief because I'm the clumsiest person in the entire world so then what you want to do is construct your wait a minute yes that's it <laughs> I forgot where I was then so we've got the bottom one here so what I'm going to do is slip in the flap there you you need to ink all of this okay I'm not doing it on camera because it takes ages but ink all the edges okay um, in fact I'm just going to do this one where I won't be able to access it I can access the rest I can't access that and I'll link it later so then this small flap here simply will slide inside there okay so yeah we're going that way so that's going to attach to your journal yeah this flap here is going to go in here slide it in okay just think about it carefully and logically and plan it all okay um so it slips inside like that so then when you are opening the flip it doesn't show you you, you can't see it and i'm going to show you further ways of how to make it look seamless so what we're going to do is glue that come on you slippery little sucker let's just cross our fingers everybody that my husband doesn't ring me again because when he rings I have to answer because um, it's really it could be really important <laughs> and he always tends to ring me when I'm filming I'll not hear from him all day now watch when I'm uh, sat doing nothing he doesn't call me right so that's glued down nicely but we've got this kind of this slit here kind of flapping about in the wind a bit so this is where you get, um, use up some washi tape uh, let me just find some got some just here on my desk so just got so this is all inside so you're not going to see any of this so what that will do is that will stop that um, slit from showing it'll make it look seamless and also anything that you put inside your envelope won't catch it won't catch on this bit it'll just slide in and out so it's double bubble with the washi tape okay it's a shame to waste this washi tape because it's nice but 
you know it's functional and it's useful so then you can seal up that envelope by re-gluing the flaps okay only this bottom one don't do the middle one with the the other slit don't do that yet because we've not finished hold that up and reconstruct your envelope okay so that's that so now we are at the mid with the middle envelope so we do the same thing we've got the smaller one we've cut our flap off we're going to slip it just in the slit that we've made just feed it through carefully if you've cut quite close to the edge like I have you don't want to rip it yeah, right, so that's uh, slipped in there now. So turn it over and glue that flap down. Don't get glue, um, don't glue right up to the join um, because you don't want to, you know, get in the way of the free motion of the envelope. You don't want to infringe on its functionality. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm trying to send my professional on my videos to encourage new subscribers because I don't really I, I get I don't get a huge amount of views um but do you know what? It is what it is, you know, in Amanda land we don't really use posh words. I'm just joking about. Right, so then what you need to do again where you've got that slit. Let me just check that that's just yeah okay so make sure it's this side of the envelope the slit okay and then add your washi tape don't worry if it uh, breaks or tears the washi tape will hold it and when you reconstruct your envelope it'll all, all hold back together so just don't worry at all about anything Okay, you can always just glue something on. If something tears that shouldn't do, uh, get a scrap piece of book page and repair it like a little bandage. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Right, so now I'm going to reconstruct my envelope. Fold the flaps in. Add my glue. Hoping I'm in shot. Should really add your glue to this bit to be honest because sometimes this bit's longer than this bit so really you should add your glue to here although all envelopes are different sometimes it's the other way around so just be careful and if there's any excess glue make sure you do wipe it off because you don't want this to stick down when you've got it closed okay you don't want it to stick to the next envelope okay so there you go, there's your stack of three, okay? So you've got your top one that opens that to the right, your middle one will open to the left, and then the bottom one you will attach to your journal page, and again it will open to the right. Now, if you just look there, that middle one is protruding quite far over that one. It shouldn't be a problem because once you've got it attached to a page, ideally, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Once you've got it attached to, to that page there, then it will, it would open, it'll be, yeah, it'll be fine. It's fine as that, yeah. So that's not a problem, okay? Um, just if this middle one protrudes over the bottom one make sure that you're gluing this right to the edge of your page don't start sticking it in the middle or it won't open properly it has to go at the edge you can avoid that by just making this a bit lower down but I'm over complicating it now <laughs> so you can decorate them before you do um, the con this construction or you can do it whilst it's all together it's up to you i find that um i mean i decorated mine all separately and um you know i did it so that they were all facing the way that they would naturally 
okay it's up to you how you do it you don't have to do it grungy you could do it floral you could put animals on it you could do it romantic you can do what you want so it's basically a concertina isn't it i suppose like that all right so go and have some fun i hope i didn't um blow your mind too much there and um, sometimes i can uh, over complicate things when i'm trying to show you what to do <laughs> but there you go go and give it a try and uh, have some fun with it i'm going to make heaps of these today um and put them in my box of ephemera so that they're done um yeah love them right thanks for watching take care see you soon bye